Hi everyone, in this video we're just going to cover React Use Reducer Hook. The Use Reducer Hook is new to React 16.8 and it allows you to kind of do things that you may be familiar with using Redux for in native React. So let's have a look and see how we can implement this JavaScript that is a reducer function uh, inside of our React application using hooks. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to import Use Reducer. And then once we have that reducer, that we can then use that inside of our application. So there's a few things that we need to do. So if we think of Redux, normally what we have is a reducer. We send in an action and a payload, and then the reducer can uh, return some updated immutable state. So what we'll do inside of our application here is using hooks, we will just destructure from the use reducer hook uh, pretty much our existing state and the dispatch function. Now let's see structure state and dispatch and that will be a reducer and the reducer takes in our reducer and then it takes in the initial state. So we're just going to place reducer, we don't have this yet, and we'll pass in the initial state. And let's go ahead and define this initial state. And in this example we'll just have a count that starts at zero and we'll have an items array and then we will populate this array on dispatch. So then we need to create this reducer function. And this is just a plain old JavaScript function. And it takes in the state and the action. And the state can be equal to uh, the initial state. But in this example, we will just do a simple switch. And we will just do this uh, to begin with on the action. Then all we need to do uh, is listen for a particular action and we'll just call this increment and then we will return our state and we will return the count state.count plus one. There are other ways to do this, um, but if you're familiar with using Redux, this may be familiar. Then we're going to have another item here. I'm going to call this uh, add item and before we do that, let's just have this button to increment a number on the page. Uh, so if if we just return the default state, if the action isn't found, you could of course throw an error. Uh, if that action uh, does not uh, is not found, then you can uh, surface that error in your application and deal with it accordingly. But for the sake of this, let's just re return the state. And if you're familiar with uh, Redux, that should be uh, almost familiar. So inside of here, let's just place the state.count and let's place an on click handler for a button. Uh, this button we'll name increment and we'll call this handler dispatch. Uh, let's just do that like this and we'll call dispatch and uh, we'll call this increment. And then with that saved, we should be able to hit the button and that will increment. Uh, that button. We can obviously do the uh, reverse of that as well. We can decrement the number and take this here. We'll copy paste that and we will try and spell the word decrement correctly and then we uh, can save that and then you'll see that we have this working. Now this is pretty familiar um, if you've used Redux before, we're just dispatching an action and that action is then uh, being triggered inside of here. So depending on the action type, uh, it will do this. Now, inside of Redux, it's always nice if you can pass along some data as well. So while uh, increment may just do one thing and decrement may do one thing as well, we may want to add an item to a list and we may want to pass in a variable. So how do we deal with that? And we obviously deal with that in Redux using a type and a payload. So inside of our reducer function, let's now look for another action called add item. And then we'll return the state and then we'll return the state of items. And this will we'll spread in the current items and then we'll pass in the action dot payload. In this payload, we will pass in when we dispatch, dispatch the action, we will pass in an object that will do that. So up here, we need to change this to say type uh, because we want to pass in more than one thing here. And that does mean that we need to update our dispatch uh, 
functions as well and we'll just send in the uh, object here of type decrement increment and if we save that and we hit increase you'll see that this works as normal. So now we need to uh, just display our items on a list and what I'll do here is I will just do state.items.map and I'll grab the current item and the index. Uh, then we will just create a list of these items on the page. So the key for this will just be index and then the actual value of that list item, the children, will be the item that we pass in. So this isn't going to do anything just yet because the initial state, there is zero items in that array. But what we need to do is we need to add an item and we can do that using the add item action. So below here, uh, let's place another button that has an on-click handler that dispatches an action and we will say that the type is add item and this matches our reducer action up here. Then we will pass in that payload and the payload uh, we can just do map.floor, uh, map.random and if that's correct we should just be able to close the button, save that and click add item. Uh, whoops, I think uh, if we just do this, uh, it works. We can add that item to the list. So this is the use reducer hook that was released in React 16.8. And it really re removes the need to uh, use Redux if you're just dispatching actions. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, and whenever you need to reach for Redux to dispatch actions, then you can do all of that natively inside of React. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it has, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video if it will help others that you know. Uh, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. Thanks very much.